this VVT variable valve timing gear is locked. I've seated the camshaft in this vise. I'm going to show you how I'm going to unlock this gear by putting air pressure into this hole in the camshaft right here. Okay, so, oh, I locked it again. There, it's unlocked. If I'm not careful, I could lock it again. So I just gotta be careful because I don't wanna lock it again. So next I'm gonna show you how we got it to this point of being able to unlock it so that the gear can rotate freely. I'm gonna go through that in detail. This is kind of tricky, so keep watching. Here's the intake camshaft exactly as it comes out of the car with the gear in the locked position. And um, I'm not going to give you a lecture on variable valve timing and how it works. All that you need to know is where to put air under pressure in order to unlock this gear. Okay, so this hole right here okay I want to make sure you see it clearly this hole okay which is in the one two second groove there's a shallow groove deeper groove this is the hole right here and the way it faces is that uh, here's the lettering on the camshaft okay and uh, the hole is right here this is a hole that you want to put compressed air in order to unlock this. All right, so what we're going to do is we take a roll of tape. I've made marks to allow me to find this hole after I wrap this all up in tape. Then I'm going to make a little puncture. Then I'm going to be able to use a little air nozzle to put air through here. So note that the TSBs and the repair manuals from Toyota um, do not use the same hole and I don't know why it's very confusing the information in the manual but if you just follow the method I'm going to give you here you're going to be able to do it just as I did in the opening of this video so just for ease of handling I'm going to remove this uh, gear off of the camshaft. The way I do that, I take this 7 eighths, not 7 eighths, but uh, 15 sixteenths uh, wrench. Then I've got my uh, impact with a 14 millimeter socket. This comes right off, okay. And then the camshaft can be wiggled and disengaged from the gear. There we go. So when you put this back on, note that this camshaft has a registration pin. And this registration pin must be matched up with the rounded hole on the pin, I mean on the gear. So the easiest way to do that for me is to set this down flat on a flat surface. I find the registration pin, I line it up approximately, and then uh, just by wiggling, you get it to the right position where the end of the camshaft is completely flush against the gear and then you know that it's in the correct hole. Now that I've got the camshaft off, I mean now that I've got the gear off, I'm going to get this roll of tape. I've made these two marks with a marker pen right where the hole is. So now you're just going to start wrapping very securely 
in very tightly, as tight as I can. Because these holes are all connected and if any of the air that you put in comes out, then it'll not be able to unlock the VVT gear. So just as tightly as we can, we wrap this electrical tape all around to cover all the holes. Okay, so got it nicely wrapped. Get some scissors. Cut the end of the tape. I'm going to put a little flap in it so that I can remove it later. Okay, so now we're good. And I can find the location of the hole because I put these two marks here. I'm just going to take a sharp tool, try to find the hole. Find the location of the hole. There it is. And I'm gonna make a hole in the tape right there where the hole is. And then I'm gonna open up around it a little bit just so my air nozzle can go in securely. All right, so here's the uh, compressed air fixture that I'm gonna use. It's really standard, but what I've done with it is I've taken one of these little nozzles from a vacuum kit, right? And I've taped it securely into the opening of, the, of this uh, fixture. And now, this will go into this hole. Let's do this again one more time just because we can and we gotta find the hole which is hard to do. It's all black. The light isn't very good. So we gotta find the hole and get in it nice and secure okay and the factory service manual says to do this with 20 pounds of pressure one thing I can guarantee you is with 20 pounds of pressure it's not gonna happen you're gonna need a lot more pressure to make it happen there once more it's unlocked And it wants nothing more than to lock itself again. So just be cautious with this. Once again, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments, please put them in the description underneath.